Okay, let's have a look at section 6.3, Principle of Relativity. So what we've seen so far is something called the Law of Inertia. And what is the Law of Inertia and what is an inertial reference frame? An inertial reference frame is simply any reference frame that's moving with a constant velocity relative to Earth so that if you see an object in the Earth reference frame which is isolated right and in an in the Earth reference frame we know that an isolated in an isolated reference frame there's no momentum transfer across the boundary in any inertial reference frame, meaning any reference frame moving at a constant velocity relative to Earth, you also should see um, no momentum transfer across the boundary. So in any inertial reference frame, if an object is isolated, you should see no momentum transfer. And if an object is not isolated, then you should see how the momentum changes. Okay? So go back and look at the previous one. But now in this section, 6.3, we want to not only see single objects okay, in inertial reference frames, we want to see objects that are interacting. And we want to see really two things. In an inertial reference frame, in an inertial reference frame, what is happening to the momentum and to the energy? Those are kind of the two questions that we're asking. What's happening to the momentum laws and the energy laws in inertial reference frames when we have two objects interacting? So as an introduction, this will just be the first part of, of a few videos on 6.3. Let's have a look at something we've seen many, many times. And that is the velocity time curve for two interacting objects. So say now you've got cart 1 and cart 2. Cart 1 in the Earth reference frame. Cart 1 in the Earth reference frame is has a zero velocity. And cart 2 has a velocity of 0.8. And so cart 2 obviously is moving towards uh, cart 1. They collide, they interact and their velocities change. For example, cart 2 then begins to move in the negative direction and cart 1 begins to move in the positive direction. Now the point is that this is in the Earth reference frame and we're very used to that. Now, say now you begin to move in a negative direction, minus 0.2 meters per second. Here, you are with the, uh, on the Earth in the Earth reference frame. You are at zero relative to Earth. But now, say now relative to Earth, you begin to move minus 0.2. And notice there it says V E M. Please learn how to read this. It's M. Whoever M is, if that's a man, say man M, relative to Earth. M relative to Earth. Does that make sense? If I say VE relative to M, it's Earth relative to a man. Man relative to Earth, Earth relative to man. Okay, so now, say now, the man relative to Earth is moving at minus 0.2. This is you, moving at minus 0.2. So now you're moving in the left, leftwards direction. What's going to happen to the two velocities of the carts? What do you think? If this cart was at zero when you were in the Earth reference frame, but now suddenly you begin to move left at 0.2 to the left, do you see that it's, it's going to appear that this cart 1 is moving 0.2 to the right relative to you? And this cart that was moving at 0.8 will now move at 0.8 plus 0.2 relative to you. So as you can see, this uh, these curves have been shifted up. Because you're now moving left, 
uh, they have been shifted up. So now they appear, relative to you moving to the left, they appear to be going uh, at 0.2 and at 1 meter per second. Okay? And then they go through their collision, and as you can see, even after collision, in the Earth reference frame, they were minus 0.4 and plus 0.4. Is that right? Yes. Okay? But now, in the new reference frame, they, um, ha their velocities again have been shifted up. Here it's minus 0.4, here it is minus 0.2. Here it is 0.4, here it is 0.6. So the, what do you notice here though? The important thing to notice, the takeaway message is this. The delta, I don't want to use the word deltas actually, the relative velocity, uh, no, no, the deltas, the change in velocity of cart 1 in this reference frame is the same as the change in velocity in this reference frame. The change in velocity of cart 2 in this reference frame is the same as the change in velocity in this reference frame. That is the important number one key message here, is that in an inertial reference frame, your delta V is the same. It stays the same. Your change in velocity stays the same. Okay? Now, what, what can you kind of um, deduce from this? If your delta V stays the same in, a, in, in any inertial reference frame, then what else stays the same? Your delta P will stay the same. Okay? So that's just kind of a first uh, first go. I don't want to make this video too long. In the next video, we're going to look more at your momentum and your energies. Okay? All right. See you in the next one.